fading rover shadows and disappearing mountains signaled the arrival of a dust storm in Jezero Crater, just as Perseverance was grinding into a rock to get a better look inside. But the windy conditions messed with that plan. On this episode of Mars Guy, Perseverance has now driven away from the location of its latest rock sample, shown with Mars Guy for scale. I learned at a planetary science conference two weeks ago that this strange rock is composed mostly of silica and carbonate, an unusual composition that clearly indicates interaction with a lot of water. I wanted to take a closer look at it with the images from the Watson camera and was disappointed by how bad they looked. Not the actual images, but the dusty appearance of the rock. This is an abrasion spot made by Perseverance that's supposed to provide a smooth, clean surface for Watson and the other instruments to observe. Turns out that sometime between the first set of Watson images immediately after the abrasion operation and the next set two sols later, Martian winds blew some of the tailings back into the hole. Dust-sized bits of rock accumulated around the inner edge of the hole and spread in a thin layer across the bottom, even filling in little void spaces in the rock. Winds continued to swirl around the work site over the next few sols. A pair of images from Mass Camp Z reveals changes in the tailings pile that are especially noteworthy given that the material moved upslope. This is consistent with the direction needed to fill in the abrasion patch. And all of this is consistent with winds that filled the sky over Jezero Crater with dust. Perseverance arrived at this location when the sky was relatively clear, allowing it to cast dark shadows. As dust filled the sky, the shadows faded and reddened in the scattered and dimmed sunlight then darkened some as the sky started clearing. The Mass Cam Z calibration target on the rover deck was designed to monitor changes like this. Its gnomon was included for just this purpose, casting a shadow that fades as dust fills the sky. And the different gray ceramic rings are useful for monitoring changes in dust accumulation, which is most evident across these two images. Looking north along the mountainous rim of Jezero Crater, increasing dust in the air decreased visibility until the most distant mountains became obscured, a version of Martian air pollution, I guess. All of this serves as a reminder that Mars does indeed have air, although at less than 1% the pressure of Earth's air, remarkably little of it. That means that wind has to move 10 times faster on Mars to move a grain of sand compared to Earth. The unintended experiment observed by Perseverance shows that wind speeds during this dust storm probably were at least 2 meters per second, so a light breeze on Earth. Hardly the raging dust storm depicted in some movies about Mars, which could never actually happen. Still, it was enough to mess up the highest resolution images of an interesting rock, causing at least a mild rage for a scientist. 